Hello guys, welcome back, PK here. So in this video, we're going to be working on this interesting algebra question from National Math Olympiad, so stay tuned. Okay, we have a pretty interesting algebra question from National Math Olympiad. The question is, prove that the summation from k is equal to 1 to 80, 1 over square root of the k, is strictly between 16 and 17. Okay, so we have the lower bound of the 16 and the upper bound of the 17. For the lower bound, I'll be using how this 1 over square root of the k is greater than 2 over square root of k plus 1 plus square root of the k, which is quite easy to see. And about this upper bound, this summation of k is from 1 to 80, 1 over square root of the k is less than 17. For this upper bound, I'll be using how 1 over square root of the k is now less than 2 over square root of now k plus square root of k minus 1. Okay, so we can easily check especially about this upper bound. We can see how this 1 over square root of now k plus 1 plus square root of the k. Okay, then we can multiply this this has been the same as 1 over square root of k plus 1 plus square root of the k. We can multiply square root of k plus 1 minus square root of the k to both the numerator and denominator. It's the same expression. So if you go ahead and do this, okay, then we end up with the square root of k plus 1 minus square root of the k. Okay, then we can see how the summation from k is equal to 1 to n minus 1, and 1 over this expression, square root of the k plus 1 plus square root of the k. This is going to be telescopic summation, so that is why this has to be the same as square root of the n minus square root of 1, which is the same as square root of the n minus 1. So that's why, especially for this upper bound part, 1 over square root of the k is less than 2 over square root of k plus square root of k minus 1. So that part is if this k is greater than or equal to, say, 1. Okay, then that means 1 over square root of the k is less than 2 over square root of k minus 1, now plus square root of the k which is going to be the same as then now 2 times square root of k minus square root of k minus 1. Okay, so keeping this in mind, let's talk about this lower bound first. 1 over square root of the k is greater than 2 over square root of k plus 1 plus square root of the k. So that lower bound part is the first. Okay, so we are using 1 over square root of the k is greater than 2 over square root of k plus 1 plus square root of k. Okay, so if you multiply the same, if you multiply the square root of k plus 1 minus square root of k to your numerator and denominator, then it has to be the same as now 2 times square root of k plus 1 minus square root of the k over your denominator is going to be k plus 1 minus now k, which is just equal to 1 on your denominator. Okay, so that is why this summation from when your k is equal to 1 to 80, okay, 1 over square root of the k. Okay, this has to be now then greater than 2 times summation from k is equal to 1 to 80, that expression inside of your parentheses. That is now square root of k plus 1 minus square root of now k. So like I said on the right hand side, this is telescoping summation. So we can try plugging in some values to the k to see the patterns for the cancellation of the terms, a lot of terms. So this has to be the same as the right hand side, it's the same as 2 times when your k is equal to 1, we should have square root of the 2 minus square root of 1. When k is equal to 2, plus square root of 3 minus square root of 2. And then all the way up to now plus square root of 81 minus square root of now 80. Okay. 
So that's why those terms, square root of 2 cancel out, square root of 3 also cancel out, and also square root of 80 cancel out. So that is why what you have eventually has to be now 2 times the square root of 81 minus 1, which is 2 times 9 minus 1. That is just equal to now 16. Okay, so that's why this lower bound part is proved. Now the summation, k is from 1 to 80, 1 over square root of the k. Okay, this is greater than the 16. Okay, now we can move on to the second part, this upper bound part. Summation from k is equal to 1 to 80, 1 over square root of the k is less than 17. Okay, so for second part. Second part, we already know that 1 over square root of the k is less than 2 over um, square root of the k. Now, plus square root of k minus 1, which the right hand side is equal to 2 times square root of the k uh, minus square root of k minus 1. Okay, so using this, what I'm going to do is I'll be breaking this summation from k is equal to 1 to 80 over 1 over square root of the k, because if you're plugging 1 to the k, the first term has to be equal to 1. So we can break this into now 1 plus summation from k is now equal to 2 to 80, and the same, 1 over square root of the k. Okay, this is right hand side. This right hand side is going to be then less than 1 plus now 2 times summation k is from 2 to 80, and this expression. Parenthesis, square root of now k minus square root of k minus 1. Okay, so that's why let's analyze the summation. So this 2 times summation k from 2 to 80 of square root of the k minus square root of k minus 1. Okay, so if you plug it in some value to the k, this is also the telescoping summation. So this has the same as now then 2 times when your k is equal to 2. Square root of now then 2 minus square root of 1. Okay, when k is equal to 3, it has to be plus square root of 3 minus square root of 2. And then two more terms plus square root of 4 minus square root of 3. All the way up to, say, plus square root of 79 uh, minus square root of 78. Okay, now then plus square root of 80 minus square root of 79. Okay, so that's why a lot of terms got canceled out too. And then now we have 79 canceled out and also square root of 78 canceled out too. So that's why this has to be the same as 2 times now square root of 80 minus 1. And if you calculate this, it has to be around 15.88. And then if you add 1 to this, it has to be 16.88. So that's why 1 plus um, 2 times summation when your k is equal to 2 to 80. Square root of k minus square root of k minus 1. Okay, this is now around 16.88. So that's why we just proved this upper bound part. So that's why summation when k is from 1 to 80, 1 over square root of the k is less than 16.88. That is also less than 17. So that's why we proved this upper bound part. Okay, so pretty interesting algebra question from National Math Olympiad. So I'll be glad more videos, more questions like this sometime soon.